Duplication of the Southern Expressway is a very challenging project. This $407 million project involves construction of a new 8.5 km carriageway on the western side of the existing reversible roadway. The project will deliver a 24-7 two-way expressway between Bedford Park and Old Nalunga by mid-2014. Building within this narrow corridor in a built-up residential area, whilst keeping the existing expressway and surrounding road network operating, presents many challenges. The scale of the project is extraordinary. More than 2 million tonnes of soil and rock is being excavated, moved and reused on site. The most complex works involve extending existing bridges and overpasses. Nine road bridges are being extended to accommodate the duplicated carriageway, together with five pedestrian bridges. The interchanges along the expressway will also be modified to allow for new bridges and on and off ramps. To extend the bridges, we have to temporarily support services and the existing bridge structure, remove the western abutment and excavate adjacent soil. We then construct new concrete footings, a new central pier and western abutment, followed by installation of steel beams. The project is completed with construction of a new bridge deck, reinstatement of services and the approach roadway. The project also includes three new bridges over waterways. The new Smith Creek Bridge is nearly 30 metres high and will duplicate one of South Australia's highest bridges. The new on-ramp bridge from Panalatinga Road will require the relocation of a section of the Field River to allow construction of a 70 metre high embankment. The project is also developing a new shared use recreational path on the western side of the expressway, providing an alternative to the existing veloway and bikeway on the eastern side. We have multiple works going on simultaneously, from building temporary haul roads and relocating services such as electricity and water, to major earthworks and pavement construction. The fleet of earthworks equipment working on site is substantial for a project in an urban area. It includes 12 50 tonne dump trucks, 18 road trucks, two large dozers and large excavators. Together, the vehicles and equipment on the project consume 12,000 litres of diesel every day and up to 20,000 litres during peak times. One of the most difficult tasks has been the excavation of the extremely hard rock that forms the Darlington Escarpment between Seacombe Road and Majors Road. To remove over 300,000 tonnes of rock, we are undertaking small controlled blasts that fracture the rock internally. This requires drilling over 7,000 holes and using up to 250 tonnes of explosives over several months. The blasting is scheduled during the expressway changeover to minimise traffic impacts and a clearance zone is set up around the site to ensure everyone's safety. It's a mammoth undertaking. The project team is working hard to minimise traffic and community impacts to deliver a duplicated expressway that will provide economic and social benefits for future generations of South Australians. <laughs>